Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new game called Leap. It looks pretty fantastic. I've played a little bit of the shooting range, which, you know, it feels nice to play. It's going to be an incredible multiplayer game. Um, I think it's 30 v 30 multiplayer, so, you know, quite hectic, quite crazy. I'm going to go through some of the basic stuff that's here in the menus. I'm going to show you character customization and, and all those types of things. I do want to say, though, that unfortunately i think right now the beta isn't really optimized for a single pc setup i tried absolutely everything that i could to get this to record smoothly but it just would not record smoothly it looks amazing and it plays smoothly on my pc but trying to record at the same time just became a massive problem you know the gpu was overloaded just between one game and my um, recording software so i was a little bit disappointed at so i had to set up my algo capture that i use for like my xbox and stuff i run it through my pc and because it's never it's not really the best kind of capture card it doesn't look that great in this video right now however i will say the game looks incredible just circumstances right now and the game not being optimized this is all i can do to show you the game without any lag so this is the starting kind of thing here you obviously got contracts which is challenges you get um, credits and xp Credits is used in the black market, which I'll show you very quickly. That is really loud, Jesus. So, yeah, so, you know, you can buy, like, skins for your weapons and stuff using, like, 5,000 credits. So, 5,000 credits is the equivalent of, like, probably about, if it's just three challenges a day, probably about a week's worth of challenges. So, you know, you are going to get some stuff here, you know, just, just from doing challenges. I'm assuming you can also buy them as well. So the black market has a weekly update and you know it's just kind of like daily items well daily items and weekly an epic vehicle skin and an epic weapon skin obviously this is going to change week in week out so far this is all you can see not the most crazy of customization you know it looks fine it looks great but it doesn't look super incredible gonna have to wait to see how that plays out so armory is where you change up your characters and this is the most important part there are four different classes for you to use Pathfinder, Titan, Wraith, and Tech Ops. Now, I really do wish these were bigger on screen because it took me a while to think, hold on, where's all the other classes? However, Pathfinder has an AR and a shotgun to start off with. Pretty decent weapons. I'll show them very, very briefly in a minute. Um, you can have different abilities. You get like a support shield, which is kind of like a Titan bubble from Destiny 2. It defends you from enemy fire while also healing you. You know, you got your grenades and things that you can unlock later on as you go through. Each character has like an ultimate special. This gives you an airstrike, which is incredibly powerful. And then you have your kind of movement tech. So, you know, you can have your hoverboard, exotube, bouncy ball, thunderbird, you know. But you start off with a hoverboard, which is pretty damn awesome. You can then go in and customize all of these things too. There'll be different skins for everything in this game, weapons, etc, etc. Um... And each character has different abilities and kind of setups. So, you know, like Titan will have um, a free fire LMG, which I don't think you can aim down sight with, and an Odin Spear rocket launcher to back it up. So, you know, there's different abilities, different classes, kind of just like Warlock, Titan and Hunter from Destiny 2, but a little bit more advanced. Um, with the Titan, you can start off with a Thunder Blast or an Overdash. I haven't quite worked out how to use these properly, but, you know, it, it's an ability. <laughs> and the Ultimates, you can have different Ultimates as well. So, like, for the Titan, you can have Devastator Mode, which you deal more weapon damage, or you can have a portable machine gun station. So, you know, we'll, we'll check that out too. Wraith is your typical sniper class. Um, it comes with a power sword which deflects um, any kind of projectiles. So if someone fires a rocket at you, you can send it right back at them, I assume. The scout rifle is okay. It's, um, you know, it's, it's, it's fine. It's not anything spectacular, but it's fine. Again, different ultimates, abilities. The abilities here is to cloak. Um, did I check the Titan ability? Oh yeah, I did. Um, so yeah, you can cloak and go invisible. So, you know, pretty good for stealth. Tech Ops for me right now is my favorite class. The Incendiary AR, it just feels nice to fire. It's low, low recoil in comparison to the other weapons. But you also have a Reconstructor Beam, which works with your gun turret ability. So you put your gun turret down, it kills anything within range, and then you can fix it, basically. Um, ultimates, again, you know, you can either have this rocket launcher, or you can have... Um, an automated overseer now the rocket launcher is like a guided missile you fire it and you move it around and you chase after people and blow them up so you can see there's a lot here to go into and i'm going to properly break down each class in different videos but i'm going to very quickly take you into the um the shooting range and show you kind of how the game kind of plays and works um i actually really like this game i think it could be a lot of fun 
Um, they really need to fix the optimization on recording and streaming and stuff like that and using it in other softwares like OBS and thing. It just it just is laggy and crap no matter what I try to do. Um, so here we go. You deploy and right here you choose your class. So you just go through them and you choose them all. I'm going to very quickly just... Actually, I'm going to use the Tech Ops, which is like my favorite right now. And you deploy. You spawn on your hoverboard. Now your hoverboard can obviously fly. Like so, you can speed up with it as well, so you can fly around. It's quite easy to maneuver. Um, you just literally press any button to get out of it. Also, I'm using mouse and keyboard because um, it just feels better than controller right now. And then you have your hood and stuff here. Quite a big hood. I haven't really looked into seeing if you can make it look smaller. But um, if you just hit fire from here, you can see that the range with hit fire is pretty decent. Aiming down sight obviously makes it a little bit easier. Um, okay, that's way out of range. <laughs> um, so, the other movement tech is the grapple hook. Now, the grapple hook is pretty much unlimited, so you can just fly around the map. You know, it's going to be really, really good for um, just just fights within trees and wooded areas and stuff. At any time, you can just pull out your hovercraft in midair and go for a fly. So if you need to get somewhere really quick to another side of the map, that's what you can do. Jump off it and then we can start grapple hooking again. So as you can see, like the movement is very fluid. One of the better grapple hooks I've ever seen in a game, probably on par with Halo. So yeah, oh god, I'm stuck on something. This game is still in beta, so you know there's a lot for them to do, to fix, to change, to optimize. But so far at the moment, I haven't played any real people. I'm going to be doing that for a video. Uh, this is just the shooting range, obviously. The shooting range is actually pretty fun. Oh no, I'm falling. No, I'm not. Wee. It just it just seems like a really fun, unique type of game. Where are you going? Get back here. Right. Okay. So my gun turret right now, you can't really do anything with it because it doesn't fire at the um, at the AI. But it just sits here like this, and then you can change and you can fix it. Pretty decent. Grenades are pretty good on this game, um, if you get them to blow up properly on a person. <laughs> but, yeah, let's just go with the um, with the ultimate. Pow! 368. So you can see, there's a lot here on offer. Now this is just a very bare basic first impressions type thing. But so far for me, the movement is what makes this game pretty unique, pretty fun. And when you, like, there's these supply drops as well. These drop weapons, usually a rocket launcher. And there's another one where you can collect tokens. If you look at the top, it's 60-60 for me and the AI. <laughs> um, but the, the tokens allow you to get more tickets. So you can, you know, even if you're losing 60-30, you can pick up 20 tickets and bring it back to 60-50. I'm assuming a ticket is when people die. So, you know, it's a it's a pretty decent game so far. I'm enjoying it. It's um, it's different. You know, I'm looking for something that's different, something better. Might not be something that I play a lot, or I mean, not play a lot, <laughs> play a lot for videos or stream a lot, but I'm definitely going to dive into it, see what people think. But this is definitely going to be a game that I really, really get into offline, because it's just, it's just Got a, oh god, there, are, there is some bugs and glitches. <laughs> um, but it is just super cool. I'm very impressed by it. Very, very impressed by it. And like I said, this is recorded with my Elgato capture software, which isn't really good enough for my PC recordings, because games obviously on PC, my high-end PC, needs a really, really good 4K capture card. I'm using basically a 1080 HD 60 card, so the game looks worse than it should if you play on PC and if you understand how PCs work and all that, you know what I mean. The game's going to look phenomenal for you on all the highest settings. And if you do record and stuff, hopefully they get some optimization going. Or you're just going to have to buy a really, really, really expensive capture card. <laughs> um, I'm happy playing it at this frame rate and stuff though. You know, like, I think, I don't think graphics are always that necessary in games, but... Why is this like kind of weird, weird kind of edge glitch that you get? <laughs> oh no! Um, so yeah, that's just like a quick first impressions view of the game. I'm going to go into each character individually for videos over the next couple of days. I'm going to do some live gameplay. I'm, going, I'm about to record my first gameplay live. 
and see how it goes and then i might just do like a final kind of impression as the beta ends so yeah check it out leap look for it online see what people are saying about it videos streams etc etc and i will see you very soon again for another video peace